Okay, in our piano lesson today, we're going to explore block chords. Block chords are a great little technique you can use when you want to really thicken up the texture, get a really nice thick sound on the, the piano. And um, it's great when you want to take your solos to that, that next level, or even just do some variations on the melody. So basically the whole concept is that if we've got a, um, a scale, What we're doing is we're doing it in octaves. And where it gets fun is we start filling out the space in between the octaves. So what we do is we do a mixture of six chords and diminished chords. How they're actually, those diminished chords are actually functioning as five chords. I'll show you what I mean. We've got C6, G7, flat 9, C6, G7, flat 9, C6, G7 flat 9, I'm doing the bebop scale here, C6, G7 flat 9, and G6. Yeah, I was just trying to show you with the root there, but without the root. adding that, that note in there just to um, complete the pattern so it goes 6, diminish, 6, diminish, 6, diminish, 6, diminish, 6 and that's also the bebop scale. Alright, so um, what we could do with that is actually harmonise the, the melodies. So if we looked at all of me, Many changes we need to change with it, but that scale is kind of a good starting point and it gives you the idea of uh, the, um, the notes you can um, clash together. So, if I use all of me for an example, I'd be kind of still doing this sort of octaves but filling in between um, and often kind of displacing the melody because you know, at the end of the day, it's hard to do these shapes um, really fast so. It'd be kind of sort of like this. Kind of making a few little mistakes there, but you're getting the idea. It's kind of octaves and then filling in between. Let's have a look at how it might apply to a tune like Bass and Street Blues. Bass and Street Blues, if you don't know, Chord progression is we start on B flat, then we go to D7, then it's circle of fifths from there and on. So G, G, C, C to E, and etc. Alright, let's see what block chords we can do with that melody. Okay, so there's a few examples of uh, for those block chords. So what I recommend you practice is use this fundamental scale, like if we we're doing it in B flat, same kind of vibe. Six, diminish, six, diminish, six, diminish, six, diminish, six. That's, um, even though it doesn't match all the harmony in that piece, it just gets your fingers in that right um, position so you know, all oh, right, I'm kind of filling in the chords with, with these notes and when the harmony changes you can kind of just do little little adjustments to, um, to make the change there. Um, for example there. Um, another little thing to keep in mind there is it's cool to um, also think about that blues note in that scale. 
you can kind of do um, diminished on the blues there. Another little technique that I'm doing in there too is I'm just doing little double grace notes when I'm doing the melody in the left hand. So if you watch carefully with the bass and street blues, slipping into those chords. And I'm doing as many slips and grace notes as I can to get that kind of really lazy kind of tonk sound. It's great when you're doing a nice slow, um, slow swinger. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice, fun technique. So yeah, just remembering left hand's just doing the melody, right hand's are doing the, the harmony there. And you're basically duplicating that um, melody with the, the top note there and feeling in between there. I haven't actually shown you many minor examples. Mini the Mooch is a good one to have a look at. Same thing, minor sixes. That's pretty cool, hey? Well, I hope you enjoy that tip. Try and incorporate it into all your playing while you're learning it. I would just apply to all the standards that you know just while you're um, learning that technique. And then the more and more you practice it, it'll just come out naturally in your improvisations and your playing along with pieces. Hey, I hope you really enjoyed that lesson. If you're really enjoying this content, please like my video and subscribe and tell your mates. Um, just really want to get the, uh, the good knowledge out there for um, you to have a great musical journey. And please feel free to mention anything in the comments that you might want to learn in the future because I'm just making these videos as it comes to me and I'm picking topics out of the air there. Um, so yeah, if you want to give me any direction, I'm, I'm really happy to follow. All right, I'll see you in the next video.